I'm Marcy Martinez. Eddie will join us for Sports at 6, but first on 4, two Donna School Board members and another man have been indicted in a public corruption case linked to services provided to Donna ISD. CBS 4's Joel Flores has the latest on what led to these charges. Joel. This morning, a U.S. District Court unsealed an indictment with charges against board members Eloy Infante, Elepidio Yanes, and a citizen that served as a middleman, Adrian Guerrero, with one court count of conspiracy, one count of attempted extortion, and two counts of federal programs bribery. We had to uh, accept and, and, and recognize that this is going to be a little distraction, absolutely but that is separate and apart than from the day-to-day -day operations that we have for our student body and for our faculty. According to the indictment obtained by CBS 4 News, from February through May of this year, board members Infante and Yanis allegedly accepted bribes from a businessman whose company provided services to Donna ISD, saying that they needed $10,000 each in order to retain district contracts. From a subjective mode, uh, I'd have to say yes, it's, it's a... It hurts to see individuals like that because uh, they're individuals that uh, are from the community and obviously were elected as public servants. Um, they, they reside in the community, so to answer the question, yes, it, it, it hurts. Uh, the families, you know, I'm sure are going through, through a struggle. Uh, objectively, we have to be also know that um, the judicial system has done their due diligence and we have to respect that on both sides. CBS 4 went to the home of Eloy Infante to get a response on these charges. And we got no answer. We then went to Elipidio Yanez's home and this is the response we got from a woman who opened the door. Hi, I'm looking for Mr. Yanez. He's, He's not here. Okay, um, would you be able to comment on... Okay, thank you. We then spoke to a neighbor, and this is her thought on the matter. Well, I think that it's not a good thing to be happening here in this town, and it merits a good investigation to get to the bottom of that. The indictment further reveals that the $10,000 bribe for each of the two board members was not paid in full, and tickets for a Spurs game and an Aerosmith concert were exchanged as partial payments mm -hmm. from the businessman. It's reported back in December that the FBI had created a public corruption task force in the Valley. We will continue to bring you the latest on the story. Joel Flores, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.